Hi, so this is one of the many people in my comments that are whining about everything that I have to say about us. About females or women, whatever you'd like to refer to yourself. Whatever makes you feel less offended, even though they all describe you. So, I'm talking to you and every other person who makes similar comments like this. <laughs> A lot of people wonder why I talk more about black women than black men. You want to know why? When I talk about them, a lot of them actually admit to doing the shit. You see, men know how to take accountability more than women do, if we're being honest. But y'all don't want to be honest. So when someone does be honest, y'all have a problem with that because now you're exposing us. Y'all are forgetting I don't give a shit. And if you have a problem with that, then get the fuck off my page. It's that simple. We got us a killer. Oh, Mr. Tyrone. What's good, everybody? If you're first time viewing my content of this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Shout out to Miss. Uh, let me let me go back and see. Her name is I am Conkus. Miss Conkus. I hope I'm saying that right. Shout out to you. I'm rocking the fro. Shout out to the fro gang out there. So she she said a mouthful. And this is a constant message that I hear from many women. You know, one of the 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 originals, one of the veterans who spread this message, Shahrazad Ali, and even people like uh Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. But we have a lot of women nowadays who have platforms like the Nika Marie, Erica Lachey. My girl Z, Riva TV, uh, a new up and comer, Chantel Simone. Love her platform. Love her platform. Um, I wish all of them would follow me. You know, it, it'd be nice, but <laughs> I just play, I just play it. But uh, shout out to all of them. You know, they have all lovely platforms that also spread the, the, the wonderful gospel of Shahrazad Ali in terms of uh, holding these toxic black women accountable to their actions and what they do she's right generally when you're dealing with men we ain't we ain't talking about men who who like to deflect men who were raised up by their mothers and also were taught to be hyper emotional and deflective you know when you're dealing with men men generally hold themselves accountable this ain't no debate upon men versus women type of stuff so i, I want to hear all that in my comment section but i, I want to make it known that it's very very crucial that we have women like this on social media to be that person to hold women accountable to be that person to speak to women because evidently when men try to speak or express themselves when it concerns issues that concern women or even furthermore when men try to hold women accountable it don't always go the way that it should in more cases than none for an example kevin samuels that's all that needs to be said. Two words. Kevin Samuels. Sadly, you have a group of black women on social media who feel like they can say whatever they want. They can do whatever they want and that they don't owe a man anything. Not even a smile. Not even a hello. Not even a, 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 a word or a saying or a good morning or a goodbye or a hello. There are women out here who feel that way. Consistently, you will see on social media a whole group of toxic women in the shade room category. Whatever the case may be. Hollywood Unlocked of toxic women sets of toxic women on social media who just cannot fathom holding themselves accountable to their toxic behavior a lot of them feel like that their toxic behavior is cute oh yes indeed a lot of them feel like that their toxic behavior is in cahoots with their capricorn in the sun and and their Aries rising all this mumbo jumbo with zodiacs zodiacs and all this other type of nonsense and they feel like because they were born on a certain month on a certain day at a certain time that's the reason why they are the way they are no you just you just trashy <laughs> just nobody likes you because you're a, a a piece of trash of a human being that's what it is and you just refuse to accept that. So you'll run to zodiac signs. Or you'll, you'll run. Oh this man did this to me. And oh I got anxiety. Or I'm hurt. 
And this is not to discourage or minimize people who have those type of things. But at the same time, you have women out here who will use these labels. They will diagnose themselves just so that they can have an excuse for why they are the way they are, why they're rude, why they're bipolar, why, why they're condescending. It's beyond me. So shout out to women like this and even women that I haven't even run across yet that continue to spread this message to women, um, even black women. In terms of how to be feminine, how to hold yourself accountable to what you do and how you conduct yourself as a black woman. But let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below. Make, make sure you... But share your thoughts concerning the whole matters at hand in the comment section below. Share your thoughts about the whole... Everything that she had to say. Whether you agree or disagree, let that be known in the comment section below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with other people. Because it helps out with the algorithm, and it gets this video out to even more people. So make sure you like the video. Alright? Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am...